every summer has a story and this summer may be about frugality it may be about enjoying things locally with the cost of goods and services increasing it's time for us to look at alternatives so that we can still enjoy a great summer without breaking the bank so when i was growing up i really didn't know how much things cost we immigrated to the United States that summer of 1992 and our parents tried their best to expose us to typical American summer activities like the beach, like the pool. Social media didn't exist back then, so our only reference was on TV. Fast forward to now where a summer can cost thousands of dollars if you try to keep up with everyone else. So in this video, I want to share some tips to help you save money this summer. As a parent now, I now see how summer activities can quickly add up. But growing up, we were a family of five. I didn't really understand that an outing for a family of five could quickly add up and cost a lot of money. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Catherine Agup John. I'm a financial educator and I help future and current moms optimize expenses, earn money, invest better, and give back. Here at Sisters for Five, we also talk about how caring for the planet is also good for the wallet. So many of the tips you'll find in this video will go in line with sustainable living. My first tip for you today is to check out your library. And I know we live in a digital age, everything is online and streaming, but I want you to consider and take a look at your local library. There are so many resources for you to tap in at your local library. The first thing that is great to take advantage of when it comes to the library is the fact that it's the only place where you are not expected to spend money. You can hang out there for as long as you want without needing to spend any money at all. Of course, take advantage of all the books, audiobooks, ebooks available at the library. Many libraries now support streaming services, so you can actually download movies, audiobooks, and ebooks through an app, and you can take advantage of all of this entertainment for free at your fingertips. Another thing that you can also look for at your local library is events. Some libraries offer events for kids during the summer. There might be some adult programs too. So check out what's happening at your local library or suggest something. One of the things that we also take advantage with our local library is that they have what's called museum passes. And I live in the state of New Jersey. So our library offers free museum passes to museums and centers in New Jersey as well as in New York. And that can save you a ton of money if you are looking to do an excursion with your kids or with just you yourself or your partner. You can get free tickets to a museum using your local library card. Another library perk that you can take advantage of is that if you actually work in a big city, it's possible for you to get a library card for that big city using your employer. And this is a great idea if you just want another place to get some books, get some additional entertainment, or maybe a place just to hang out, study, uh, do some work that does not involve going to a cafe, or going to uh, a workspace. Check out to see if your big city library offers you the opportunity to get memberships. If you can provide like an employer pay stub or even just to pay a little amount for the year. And the last thing too that I love to take advantage at our local library is the regular yearly book sale that they have. They just had one a few weeks ago and it was a great opportunity for us to get some books at a very low cost for myself, my husband, and my daughter so that we have more things to read, more things to do, and allow us to get a little bit of entertainment at a low cost. The next thing to take advantage of is public parks. I am sure there's many by you, and I'm sure there's many that you have not visited. So take a look at your state public parks and see what's available for you. This can be a great adventure option so you can see what the different public parks are, what they offer, and how you can enjoy them. 
Again, in the state of New Jersey for this summer, our governor has removed entrance fees to our public parks. So maybe that's something that you can take advantage of and get to visit parks that are right outside our door that are beautiful and that can allow you to experience nature and be outdoors for a fraction of the cost. One of the things that my family loves to do is to head to the beach after hours. So this would be after four or five, especially during the summer, because it still allows us to enjoy the sand, the sun, and the beach without one, paying for entrance fees, and two, being in the hot, hot sun. My next tip for you is to check out what's happening locally. High odds that your town sponsors live events, live concerts, live bands during the summer. And this is a great opportunity to see that without needing to go far. With the increase in gas prices, doing something locally can help you save money on gas. It can also allow you to explore your neighborhood, get to know other people and your community. My tip though is sometimes there's a lot to do during the summer. So make sure you put all of these events in your calendar so you know when they're happening and when you can take advantage of them. There's going to be some overlap when it comes to summer events. So choose the one that your family will enjoy the most or try something new and see how that goes. If you're into shows, or Broadway, but don't want to spend that money going to those high-end theaters, check out your local parks. There might be play in the parks that you can attend. Check out your local colleges for some summer productions. This can be another great way to save money, still have entertainment, still see some great acting, some great shows, and support your local community of theater arts and their workshops. If you are finding value in this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which tip you're going to use or share your other tips so that others can also save money this summer. This next tip is for those that love the movies or for those that want a different kind of entertainment for kids or for yourself is to head to the movies. And one way you can reduce the cost of that is to catch the first movie of the day or the midday matinee because it's normally a little bit cheaper. I think going to the movies is still a great experience. It's also a great experience for kids that don't normally do it. It could be a great activity for your family, especially if it's hot out or there's thunderstorms coming in. With the summer also comes great weather, and this is the opportunity to challenge yourself and your family to spend more time outdoors. This can be a quick walk around the block, or perhaps you can do a new bike route, get kids involved to create this bike route so that they have a say in the planning and there's something that they can look forward to. As an added bonus, being outside also means you're doing more activities. It might also mean more exercise. It can also mean you're out of the house, so it reduces some of the energy costs that you're using, especially if you're running AC, lights, and so forth. So another big plus is to spend some of your time outdoors during the summer to save money there. If you have some great weather coming up, then schedule a hike. Find a great hike that your family can do that you can do. Um, you can check out the All Trails app to find hikes that are close to you. Now, you don't have to be a hardcore hiker. You don't have to be in the perfect shape to go hiking. There's a lot of hikes that can allow you to check out some trails, check out some scenery, some nature. And it's also a great way to get some exercise, get outdoors, and help your kids understand what's happening in, out in nature. I mentioned All Trails app. And it is a great resource for you to find a hike that fits your needs and your requirements. It also provides great routes and reviews so you can figure out the best trail for you and your family. Keep in mind that you don't need a lot of fancy equipment to go hiking. A great pair of sneakers, a good backpack with some snacks and water can help you on your early hikes. Of course, as you get advanced, you can invest in some of that other gear, but don't spend too much money on new gear, especially if you're starting out, because you just want to take a look to see if this is something for you. As you are out and about, don't forget to ask for discounts. Make sure you have your IDs ready. If you are a student, military, or part of organization that offers discounts, 
for going to specific restaurants or attending certain events, keep those IDs ready so you can get those discounts and again, reduce and save more money from your entertainment from other activities that you know you're going to be doing anyways. Another summer activity saving tip is that if you have a birthday coming up or if your child has a birthday coming up, consider asking your family members to either give you a membership to the zoo, to a local museum, a local science center instead of a toy or other present because this will allow you to be able to use that membership during the year, maybe especially during the summer, and allows you to gain access to those places for free. And of course, you can take advantage as often as you would like, which saves you money in the long term. This next tip is if you are out and about or spending most of your time outdoors somewhere else is to pause some of your monthly services. This might mean if you still have cable, pausing your cable, pausing visits to the gym, pausing other services that you normally pay monthly for. And this is just a way, again, for you to save money, especially for things that you are not using. Many companies provide what's called a vacation suspend, and it is the opportunity to suspend your monthly subscription, suspend your monthly recreational fees, or any other things that you're doing monthly for a vacation period. So you'll need to look at your list of things that you do monthly, see what you can suspend for the next two to three months while it's the summer, while you're out and about, and save money there too. It might be something that you've never thought about because you've just been constantly paying for these monthly services and fees, but think about things that are you are using but have not been using or will not be using as much during the summer. Figure out if it's possible to do a vacation to spend even for two to three months and get your money savings there. The last tip I will share with you is to get comfortable with bringing food from home or get creative with the types of food you eat outside the home. We definitely pay a convenience fee when we eat outside and that fee adds up, right? Eating out adds that. So get comfortable with bringing food get a cooler ready that you can bring anytime, anywhere, get some snacks that you know that your kids will absolutely eat when you're out and about so you don't have to scramble to find food outside where you're going to be paying a few dollars extra for the convenience of being able to grab and go. Keep in mind too that you can make a lot of summer treats at home like ice cream, popsicles, other desserts um, that are half the cost of you doing it at home instead of eating out. For our family, we invested in a cooler that allows us to bring it everywhere to the park, to the beach. Um, we have some ice packs that are always in the fridge so that whenever we are ready to go, we just pop it in the in our cooler and put our things in there. I also recommend saving up some of those takeout containers that you can put food in that's going to be light to carry and that can allow you to just grab and put it in your cooler. This will allow you to save time and save money. I'll share some links in the description for some gear and other equipment to help you enjoy the outdoors more. For the past few years when travel was a little light and limited, we spent a good amount of time in the outdoors backpacking, picnicking. So there's some things that I've gotten used to like having a great and quality picnic blanket. If you have a young child, investing in a backpack carrier can help you travel more and get out more. And the one that we used was the Osprey backpack, which we got off secondhand on Facebook and was also able to resell after the fact. So check your Facebook, Craigslist, local town garage sales for summer gear that you can get on the cheap or a very relatively low and expense and inexpensive price. I hope this video has been helpful. Consider subscribing to Sisters for Fi if you want more videos like this where we help you optimize expenses, save money, and invest for the long term. Did you know that the typical four-person average American family wastes around $1,500 of food a year? That's a lot of money. So this video can help you reduce food waste and save money.